beautiful body of Cheryl and today is Saturday, April the 9th and uh, we are, I guess we're in phase one of our relocating and moving uh, experience. Uh, Kira is ahead of us, she's driving a truck. Um, we're moving out of the house putting stuff in storage until we get the news on whether or not I can get my house. We've experienced some delays with financing. But there's some good folks working for me trying to get everything done. So in the interim I'll be staying with Kira. Um, I got papers yesterday asking the seller to give me another 15 days before we can close. So that's what we're doing right now. So my daughter and I and Lolly and Lala and baby Ian are moving and Anthony. None of my nephews, none of my nieces, none of my sisters nobody is available to help us and that hurts me um, one of my nephews he had been away for a while and Kira and I spent a lot of money to bring him home and put money in his pocket and he promised me he would be here to help me and he won't take my calls and I'm really devastated by that I have like seven or eight, maybe about 10 nephews over the age of 17. Travis, Dustin, Justin, Brandon, Chancellor, Devante, Ronnie, Mike, a lot of boys who I always try to support and help. They, they just don't get it. Just don't get it. But you know, it's okay. We're still gonna work this thing out. God's gonna work it out, ain't he, Lala? I mean, Lala. So Lala and I are following Lala, Kira, that's Kira up there, ahead of us driving the truck. So we're on our way to the house. And when we get to the house, <laughs> we're gonna start loading and take my stuff to storage. And then see what else God has in store for us. But I do have some kind of, I have some somber information. For me, anyway, it's somber. Ethan, you know, my little buddy, my nephew, Ethan. He is Travis's son. Last week, somehow, Lolly, Lala and I were at the um, hematologist and uh, I don't know what it was but Ethan's mother sent a text to Kira and Kira sent a text to me that I didn't get to see um, it was just some real old petty high school stuff where I can no longer see Ethan um, I'm not Ethan's grandmother, but I have spent more time with him since he was born than either one of his grandmas. Every weekend since Ethan was five months old, he has been with me. And now this girl told me that if I see him in the street, I cannot approach him. And I tried to talk to her. I said, I don't know what's going on with your kids, but I'm sorry, but please don't do this to Ethan and I. And um, I went to her house and, and knocked on the door. I was outside crying. Ethan was crying and she will not let me see him. I am really messed up about that. 
You know, Ethan is my best friend. <laughs> and I can't see my baby no more. So I've been praying for that girl. I've reached out to her several times. But she told me I can't see Ethan. Or Nick. So ain't nothing I can do about it. But anyway, y'all. Um, we are... I think we're getting close to getting the financing on the house. Um, when that all comes through, I will let you know. Hopefully, I will be moving in to my home before the end of um, this month, going back to Atlanta. Didn't I tell Anthony not to come outside, Lala? Who is that? Oh, that's not him. But here we are, y'all. We Kira gonna try to back that truck in the yard. Oh, I hope she don't hit them folks' car. Let's watch this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> she gonna knock the mailbox down. The Kira and Lolly in that truck right there, y'all. Maybe she needs some help. She need my help. Get in the yard, Lolly. Go over that way so your mama can see you. Okay. Tell her, come on. Go back some, Lolly. Lolly. Lolly, you go back. Let me stop this. Well, here are the keys. I guess you can see that we did get the house. Here's Lolly. Um, we had just finished loading from storage. This is my sister Deborah. That's Ethan's grandmother, Travis's mom. My baby sister Viv, holding baby Ian. And this is the only nephew out of the Davis boys that helped. That's baby Chancellor. And there's the new house. We are loving this space. Hey, Ian. Hey. Tell everybody you at the Target. <laughs> Ian. He's trying to get out. Mm -hmm. okay. That's a far. I know you all haven't heard from us in a while. But we finally moved in. How much is that? We finally moved into our new house. There's Lolly. There's Kira, the graduate. She got her criminal justice degree last week. And we are... Lala's over there somewhere. Uh-oh, let me get him talking. Ian fussing. He does a lot of that. Ian. Ian. He don't never talk to Grandma. So we stopping by the Target Bullseye Playground. See if we want anything. We got lots of DIY, DIY projects. Kira, look at this little Batman head. I'd like to get Ian and Ethan. I haven't seen Ethan, y'all. His mama won't let me see him no more. The Batman head for Ethan. Ian, my grandson. Ian like Ethan like Papa girl. Lala, you stick with us. So, we just looking around. I haven't been feeling well, y'all. But it's going to be better. I know I got God on my side. Even when I can't trust myself, I trust Him. Huh? Let me turn around so I can see Him back. Bring him here, love. Hey, sailor. 
See how mean and grumpy he looks. Hey, little handsome sailor boy. <laughs> he look like he know me. <laughs> Kerry, he talk, look what he did he while I'm trying to film him. <laughs> I get it, man. So here we are, the end of this little long video. My daughter Shakira, she got her degree in criminal justice. I guess it uh, used to be Macon State College, but it is now Middle Georgia State University. Definitely a very, very happy time for me. That's my sister and my daughter and my grandson. There's Lolly, Kira, my sister again. My brother-in-law and my daughter. Lolly, Kira, and my sister. In every picture that Ian is in with his mama, he's touching some part of her. That boy know he loves Kira. And I don't think he loves her as much as I do because she is my everything. That's my Mother's Day gift, y'all. A wedge to keep my legs up and a um, chair. That's Kira on the floor. She put it together for me. Was it a stool? But that's it. I wanted to let you all know we still hanging. Um, God is good. And I'm going to show y'all some of these DIY projects me and the girls will be working on very soon. Peace and love, everybody. You always put God first. Do what you can for others. And just live in love. That's all, that's all I have. It's just it's love. I love you all. Thank you.